Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at the Scania T which was voted by you, the viewers. It was pretty much the only one that people wanted to see next for the Scania week, so... Well, that's fine. I mean, it's it's great. I mean, we've got the RJL, which is the first one, and now we've got the Scania T. This is going to be a pretty epic week, I think. Um, so, look, let's have a quick look here, and this is the most up-to-date version that I could find. Uh, one point, uh, one point seven, I think it is. Um, and this was actually sent to me by RJL or J. He says his name was. Um, I think it's RJL and he actually said look can you have a look at this for me he did send it a while ago but I was holding off on it for Scania week so um, that's why I knew it was coming up and I just wanted to make sure that uh, we got this one because I knew people were going to ask for this one I knew it just knew it anyway so this is the actual standard one here we have a look at the cabins and there is a lot to choose from guys um, we have the normal spoiler, we have the high line, and we have the high line spoiler, we have the top line, we have the EXE top line, and the EXE long line. Now, I'm going to go just that one there, the EXE top line. We'll see how we go with that one there. Now, for the chassis, we have the 4x2, we have this 6x2, 6x2, 4, 6x2, 4 again. See the different configuration there? And then we have the 6x2 tag lift, the 6x2 for tag lift, 6x2 for mid lift, 6x4, the 6x2 6, 6x4 4, 4, and you see it's got a, a little toolbox on there in the back as well. Uh, and then there's the 8x4 4, 4, there's the 10x4 4, 6, then there is the 10x4 4, 6. See it's different configuration there. Wow, plenty to choose from. And then there is the 10 by 6 4. So there's a ton to choose from here. Um, I am going to choose. I think I'm going to choose. Let's let's try that one. Let's try that one there. Right now for the engines we have the uh, DC 09s. Uh, and DC-11s, DTs I saw in there, DC-16s, tons to choose from. So we got the Euro 4, 250 horsepower, 310, 340, all the way up to the V8s. And we've got the Euro 4 V8, which is the 500, the uh, 560, 580, and 620. So there's a heap to choose from. Let's go to 620. Oh, love a big lumpy V8. Now, uh, as for the transmission, we will have a look here, and we've only got the two gearboxes, which is the uh, GRSO 925 or the 925R. So, uh, only two to choose from there. Uh, I think, I don't know about this truck, but maybe that's all that comes with it when it's standard. So, for the interior, now, you'll see that this is very, very much the same. It's exactly the same, actually, as the um, uh, the other RJL one. So, uh, let's quickly flip through. So, we've got the standard UK. We've got standard with the Vor Vorbis with Vabis wheel. Uh, Vabis wheel again, but on the uh, left-hand side. We've got the exclusive. Exclusive UK. Exclusive with the Vabis wheel. Exclusive on the left hand side with the Vavis wheel, then there's exclusive V8 and see how that actually changes the, the look there. And then there's uh, that same thing on the UK, UK with Vavis wheel and there is the EU with Vavis wheel. Uh, this is my favorite here, the exclusive with V8 red. UK with V8 red and there's the Vavis wheel and Vavis wheel on the EU side. That is my favorite there, and that's what I'm sticking to. I think it looks wonderful. I think it looks absolutely brilliant. So there we go. Now, off to colors. What colors do we get to choose from? We have Deep Ocean. We have Perfect White, Scorpio Red, Acacia Green, Black Onyx, Cluster Graphite, uh, Dark Forest, Deep Azure, Deep Night, Juicy Orange, Rapid Blue, Spring Green, Sunrise, Vivid Red, Autumn Orange, Crimson Red, 
Poached ivory. There we go. So, um, not green. Juicy orange. I think it must be juicy orange for this one. Must be. Uh, right. Now, uh, one thing I wanted to show here that I really thought was very, very well done. See how uh, a lot of mods you get the wheels over here. You have you can select on that. They're visible. Where this is where I agree with what's done here. You're on this side here. You need to select these ones here, right? When you spin around, it changes. So you can select this one here. You see that side? And see that side there? It changes so you can see that side. That is probably the best way to do it because otherwise there's too much rubbish there. Too much to choose from. But anyway, let's quickly get in here. Uh, so we have the front bumper high plastic, front bumper 6 series, the 5 series, the 5 series in paint, the 5 series again, the 6 series, the 6 series there low, uh, sorry 5 series and low and 6 series low, uh, I'm going to go the 5 series, I like the 5 series. Then we come up to here and we have the little extra bits which is basically this is exactly the same as the RJL so far. Um, you know the other the other one the um, the the what was it the Scania you know the other one that we had a look at the other day the Scania R sorry uh, so it's basically got the same accessories and so it should uh, Sting uh, there's the accent there's the Dragonfly and the Viking and see how they all fit really really nice see that's what I like that's really really nice I'm gonna go to the num number plate I like the number plates. Uh, you can go and put lights on here if you wish. Uh, there's the steps there. We're just going to leave that on... Actually, I'm going to leave that on silver there. Uh, there. There's the lollipop. You can actually go the... It says pole light. So the pole light on the side. Since I clicked on it anyway, may as well do it. I'm going to go that big one there. And there's... We'll do that pole light while we think about it as well. Make it the same. Now, uh, head up to here. Now, this is the actual lights. We've got the H4, H4 paint, H4 paint again. Now, see how it's got the paint in there? H7, H7 DRL, H7 DRL V8 style, V8 style, H7 again, streamline. Now, again, this is exactly the same as the R. Um, look, I'm going to go the H7 DRL paint. I like that. Now, uh, here we are, we have bull bars, so you can select the normal, just anchor points. There's the bull bar there, that looks like a big giant moustache. There's an open mouth, there's a, another open mouth, there's a ah, sort of mouth. And then we have the bull bars, so there's all the standard sort of bull bars. What has happened here? We've got anchor points down the bottom. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. Uh, look, I'm not going to put any on for the point of this... Uh, mod because we want to see the truck now uh, we have the series 5 grill the series 5 old style with uh, plastic we have the 6 series stock we have the 5 series paint we have the 5 series old style which isn't bad the uh, 6 series V8 style black the chrome series 5 chrome series 6 V8 style paint uh, Series 6 V8 style chrome. Uh, I'm going to go. I know this is probably dull and boring for you guys, but I'm going to go that one there. I like that one there. Uh, you can actually go and add some lights and stuff like that as well. So, very good. Now, uh, for the Scania emblem, you got Scania logo chrome, Scania logo paint, Scania logo chrome, Scania logo paint. Uh, there's the Scania logo on the top there with another logo down there. There's that in paint. I don't know why you'd paint that, but anyway. There's the Scania logo again up the top, and there it is in paint. There it is down there. It's got those you know, two Scania logos up there. It's got the two Scania logos. It's There's heaps to choose from. I think that's the V8 symbol there. Um, there's heaps and heaps and heaps of stuff here, guys. Uh, I'm going to choose that one there. I like that one. Right, now up the top here, this is the Stone Guard. And there we go, the one that I like. These are all the ones that you can choose from. That's the one there, number 12. 
Um, but there is... Oh, number five. I like that one. See, there's a whole heap of them there to choose from. Let's go number five. That's actually pretty cool. Um, spin it round. That there is the mirror. We would like to go... So there's a plastic. There's long plastic. There's stock paint. There's long paint. There's uh, stock chrome and long chrome. Let's go... Let's go stock long paint. All right. Now, on the side there, you can get the... You can add lights on there, but I'm not going to go in and add lights because it just takes way too long. Uh, then we have the mirrors here. We've got plastic 2. We have plastic paint. Uh, paint 2, sorry, and paint. And we notice how we've got paint here. And we get plastic... Oh, no, it's the same. Sorry, I, it was my mistake. I was mixing them up. But anyway, uh, then we've got Chrome 2 and Chrome. So, uh, let's go Paint. Let's go Paint for that one. Now, uh, zooming in, and a lot of those ones there on the inside there are actually... So, we've got the fluffy dice, we've got the smelly tree, and we've got that. We'll do those on the inside so we can see them better. But the Sun Visor, we have the Titan... That looks good, I think. The Samurai, we have the Stock, we have the Streamline, we have the Viking. All the standard ones in here are in there. And Sting, you know, Mirage, Ranger, Dragonfly. Ooh, which to choose, which to choose. So, I don't know. You know, I'm going to go that one there, I think, for today's exercise. Now, there we have the actual deflector now you can actually get so there's the plastic one you get the wind deflector there just in a solid plastic get a paint and you get it chrome I actually like it in a transparent plastic to be honest now while I think about it we have this part here which is you can go plastic paint panel uh, panel paint so see I changed the panel on the front there chrome chrome with paint I'm going to go paint Paint panel with paint. There we go. Uh, that's the one there. That's the one I want. Now at the top there, we actually get the lights, which you sort of need to dip down to have a look. You can't really see them there. Uh, if I take them off, you might just be able to see them, but they are there. And then we have the a light rack, which is you can just go anchor points at the top. You can go custom, which is, again, this is the same as the R, how it's got that big long thing there. Got the Mirage, the Sting, Samurai, you know, Viking, Dragonfly, Ranger. Uh, let's go Ranger for this one. Now, on the top, we're going to go Raw. Raw. Um, right there, I'm going to go and put the Lumen Chrome, Lumen Chrome, and Lumen Chrome. And why not, let's just go Lumen Chrome and Lumen Chrome on the top there. Right, up the very back here is a wing. You can put a wing on the back there. So, uh, as you can see, it sort of covers that toolbox a little bit more. Or you can go spoiler high, which makes it go higher up. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave it on that one there, even though that is actually nice. No, let's do that one, the high, the high one. I like that. Very good. Right, now, here we go, straight down, and we are now looking at the plastic. These are the covers here. Uh, cover, we're looking at plastic and covers. So see how it's cover around the wheel there? Uh, and then we've got paint and paint with covers. I'm going to put paint with covers on today. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to just select that one there, and it is plastic, paint, and chrome. I mean, I think this would look really nice in a lot of chrome. Something I might have to have a look at. Now, the door handles come in plastic, paint, and chrome. Uh, very nice. I like how they just keep it, you know, going in the same sort of theme. So, uh, let's keep that the same sort of color there. Although, you can go through and change any of the standard ones here. Uh, but we're going to just choose that stock one in a sort of silver. Now, for this part here, you can actually go the stairs plastic, stairs paint. Let's paint that. And then we put a light strip along there, which you can add lights. Uh, quickly going to chuck on these ones here to make it nice and quick. 
Otherwise, this is taking going to take a long time anyway, this one, so we really need to get in there and move fast. Uh, that one there is fine. That's the stairs. Uh, that's that one. That's that one. We've done that. That is the light at the back. Now, uh, there's that one, that one, that one, and that one. If we turn the light on, we can see. Uh, let's go that one. We did that one last time, so let's go that one. Now, uh, interior, we have blue light, green light, orange light, red light. Let's go red light. Make it red light district. Um, then up the back here, we miss this. And you can go new plastic, old plastic, new paint, old paint. Um, uh, let's go new for that one. It matches in with the spoiler on the back there. Now, uh, let's... I'm hoping that we've got everything so far. I really, really do. So let's move on to the wheels. It is all of the standard wheels that we have here. Now, uh, I get a lot of people asking me about Raven, how to get Raven, guys. That was a Christmas thing only. You cannot get it now. Okay, so unfortunately, that is it. So, uh, but we're going to use Eastern Eagle. And as for the tires, it is just the standard tires. Let's just leave it on uh, Trailmaster. Now here, this is the side skirts on the side. So you get the plastic 4 and 5 series, plastic 6 series, paint 4 and 5 series, V8 6 series, 6 series in paint, 6 series in V8. So, um... You know, I actually like that one there, the V8 in V8 Paint 6 Series. I like that one. Now, uh, move on to the wheels. We would like to go Eastern Eagle. Leave the tyres. Eastern Eagle, please. Leave the tyres. Eastern Eagle. And see, we spin around and we can still select these tyres, which is great. Uh, that was the wrong one. We want Eastern Eagle. And the tyres are all the same. Okay, so down the bottom we missed this. You can put in a whole heap of exhausts if you want. Uh, I particularly not not a big fan of that, but I'm going to put those lights on there. Elegance, I like the elegance lights. Now uh, moving over to here, this is the actual the repair sort of station here, the toolboxes and stuff. So the well the tower they call it. So here we go, the equipment tower in normal stock. The equipment tower normal paint equipment tower in a uh, full paint there is flat was it flat stock flat paint flat paint uh there's v8 this is the one i like the v8 one with the v8 logo on the side uh v8 paint full paint in v8 let's go that one there that's what i like right there yeah that's good right now here you can choose a whole heap of exhaust to go on there um, hoping no they didn't they just put it in at that height so that's a bit of a shame I really feel that it needs to go more higher up the top here but uh, anyway I'm gonna make it direct out of the road there now here you can put on some lights if you like you can go crazy on the side there if you want but we're not gonna do that same thing here you can put a whole heap of lights on there or you can put lollipop on there and uh, we're not gonna do any of that at the moment because it just goes nuts and you go crazy now see uh, we're going to start go at the back here you can actually go any of these tail lights here which is the same as the R uh, the uh, steel halt is on there and you can do that that's really good I really do like that one but I'm not going to use that one today because it just takes too long it's gonna go for long enough as it is so let's go that one there and we will paint the chassis you can go chassis stock, chassis paint one, chassis paint two. Let's go paint one. Now, here comes the, the fun part here. If I can get these properly. Um, it is going to play difficult. There we go, right there. Okay, so here's the wheel guards. You can get plastic. You can get, let's, we'll actually change it up here now. Uh, you can go plastic, you can go paint, you can go uh, high plastic, high paint, low plastic, low paint. Uh, I'm going low paint with this one. Then you get the checker plating. You get the tread plate, 
or tread paint paint trend tread paint tread plate paint that's better there we go uh, I'm gonna put that one on there the uh, just normal tread plate we call it checker plate here in Australia now here is the center part you get stock stock plastic chrome chrome plastic paint paint plastic okay let's go chrome because it matches and over here we're going to go low paint we're going to go chrome we're going to go low paint we're going to go chrome and we're going to go low paint so it all matches and looks nice right that looks awesome that with the sort of skin that you know um, a, 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 like a carrying you know like stripes and stuff like that to make it look like a construction sort of vehicle I reckon it'll look heaps better with that sort of look on there now uh, need just going around this side and we're going to put that on there um, that is pretty much it I think folks no there we go so you go plastic paint and chrome for that mirror let's go paint There's a lot of paint on there a lot of paint uh, reason I like a lot of paint is because when you put a skin on it looks awesome that thing there we nearly forgot it's got air vent uh, we got plastic paint and chrome let's go paint um, there we go I think that is it guys I think that's it I'm sorry if I have missed anything uh, there is a lot here to choose from so uh, beacon light that's what I missed so there's that one there that one there or that one there uh, let's see that one fits in nicely let's put that one there on the space okay um, now I think that's it let's conf oh sorry let's go back in the customize we have a look on the inside sorry um, we need two that's right there was the trees the dice so you get to choose which dice you want uh, I'm just gonna go like there's a whole heap to choose from guys I'm just gonna go this those ones there I'll do um, then we go to the smelly tree let's go let's go uh, watermelon no I always get watermelon USA strawberry let's go strawberry today uh, the rest is the same as we had a look on the outside you get these little guards on the side there um, I notice oh no there it is there there's the plastic one and there's that one there that's the one I like I was going to say I couldn't see that before, but anyway, no, it's there. Right, let's confirm that. And let's go trade in on the last mod. And then OK. And let's have a look on the outside. So, here we are. Look at that. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. So, look at that nice shine. I mean, all the accessories and stuff that you can get on this is you know really really nice um, it is however I know it's a very very popular mod a lot a lot of people have had a go on at this mod and I think that it's still um, it's well it's an older mod but it's still a damn good one you know it's just this is a, a new revised version of it so we'll jump outside and check out the this outside of it I actually really like this the shading is a little bit funny in places but it's still damn good I mean look at the look at the I, I like it anyway so uh, let's start her up there's that wonderful V8 Scania sound look at it that is that's that sounds awesome looks great what more could you ask for right first third fifth seventh ninth eleventh toggle what do we got for toggle there's twelve ten two there we go that's the one we want there so let's go for a drive and we'll make our way over to the service center which is just around the corner there but we are going to um, we're going to skip it a bit so is that one that oh damn it I put plastic on there by accident did I oh we're gonna go this way now right okay all right so we're just gonna go around the block and then we'll uh, we'll come back 
So, uh, this is, um, I really do like this truck. I think it's a great truck and it's going to be really hard this week for everyone to choose because you've got two really, really good trucks to choose from. All free, by the way, these are not paid ones. Listen to that sound. There's the exhaust brakes. There's the horn. Right, okay, so I had to stop. We got the wipers. Right, and we push it again. And it's two speeds of intermittent. That's pretty good. And there we go. There's three. There's the third one. Awesome. That's great. I love how they do that. That is really, really good. So I need to turn here, so I'm just going to jump in this lane. It really, really does feel big. It feels big and heavy, this truck, when you're driving it. I really do like that. Oh man, this feels massive. I mean, this is... If you want a truck to feel real, more real than anything, this is definitely it. This actually feels so real, it's not funny. And, um... It's just... Oh, I love... I love it. This is just awesome. It's... I oh, just... These guys are going to have so much hard trouble deciding this week. Wow. Oh, this is going to be... I'm going to have to find a really, really cool load to tow with these trucks because, um... Because these load, these trucks here are, you know, going to be absolutely awesome, and they deserve to be have a big load, and you know, really go down in in glory or something like that. Whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Some crap like that. So, senior, what are you rambling on about? I don't know half the time. I just like rambling, and uh, <laughs> that's what I do. Right, so let's go down here and we'll pull over into the service center and see what other extra things we can get. But uh, this is really, really cool, this. See, it drives so nice as well. It really does. E any one of these trucks, guys, I think it'd be really cool for the weekly drive. I think, to be honest, I think all of them deserve... Uh, a drive in the weekly drive because they're very very good trucks they really are ah oh, there we go up there and here we go right into the service center and let's see what have we got in here so we'll go for upgrades see what we can get uh, I don't think there's going to be anything extra to be honest no, all the same. Um, uh, just the number plates on both sides. Co-drivers and drivers number plates. And you can select them on the inside. So that is cool. Alright, so let's jump out of there. And we'll go to the paint shop. Now, let's see. What have we got in here? Uh, it's just the standard paint so far. You can go custom color, custom metallic, and let's see, does the metallic work? That one does. That one does. Yes, that one does as well. Right. Uh, custom one. So there we go. That's what changes. That's the same as the R did that. Uh, Scania Griffin. Oh, see, now this... This is going to get a lot of hearts racing, this wheel. Look at that. You can also change the color of that griffin. See, that's cool. Now, what have we got? Bubbles. Done properly. Very good. Very, very good. See, you don't see that often where it's done properly. You get the Grand Tour. Wow. The uh, Sade. Sunrise. That's nice. Duel, the Duelist, the Blade, Tribal, look, all of them are working properly. That is awesome. Look, every single one. I mean, 
that is absolutely brilliant. It really is. And there's the phoenix there. Wow, it's got the skull on the back. Ah, oh, jeez. What? Really? What more could you ask for with this truck? This is awesome. I'm going to go that one there, tribal. I like that. And let's go... Should we do it? I don't know. What should we do? It White or black? No, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go... Where is it? Where is it? Scania Griffin. There we go. In in black. No, let's put it in white. And we'll put the Griffin in... Uh, let's see... Um, what colour? Blue looks nice. Blue looks very nice. Blue or black? Oh, let's go blue. Let's let's go blue. Peep. No, black. Black. All right, black. Let's do black. It looks plain Jane, but it just looks good. It looks really good. So let's confirm that. That with racing stripes would be awesome. Now, um, or that with this one with chrome. That would be awesome. See, have a look at that with, and then imagine that with Chrome. Gee, I may have to do that for um, if this gets in the weekly drive. But who knows, people? This is—it's going to be interesting. Which one is going to get in the weekly drive? And that is up to you. It's up to you to decide which one gets in the weekly drive, guys. Because um, uh, not up to me. It's entirely up to you because uh, I don't make the decisions around here when it comes to weekly drive. It's entirely up to you. So, make sure that you do vote. If you would like to see this truck in the weekly drive, then make sure you put a yes in the comments below. If you would like to see the Scania R, then go to the Scania R video and put a yes in that comment there. Okay? And if you don't want to see this one, then put a no in the comments below. Okay? So, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, it's up to you as well to tell me what is the next Scania you would like to see in Scania week. Okay, so make sure you jump in and let me know. Uh, also, if you like this truck, you want to see it in the weekly drive, and if what Scania is next. That's up to you guys. Let me know, because this is Scania week, and we just want Scania's only. No other trucks, just Scania's, okay? Alright guys, well that is pretty much it from me. Look, if you like this video, then don't forget to share. Share it with your mum, share it with the cat, share it with the sisters, share it with the dog, share it with the cat, blah, 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 blah. share it with anyone. Just share it, guys. Okay, and look, keep the shiny side up, the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on! Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here, we take a look at 18 Wheels of Steel, American Long Haul, and we go from San Francisco to Los Angeles. Just down there, we take a look at the Weekly Drive, where we go from Felix Dow to Brussels in the Renault T. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. If you like this video, then don't forget to share. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember, game on!